Now, the country's passion for finding out the past uh, extends now to tracking down those who've stayed at Her Majesty's pleasure over a hundred years ago. You can now look up your family members <laughs> to discover if they had form. That's right. Funny enough, I'll be looking up you two as well. Yes, it's yeah. worrying. I'll come on to that in a minute. <coughs> yeah, but well, there's a two and a half million criminal records now going back to 1770 um, of your ancestors. So you can go online and it's in the National Archives. They've now recreated all that and put it straight onto the internet. It's marvellous. And if you go on, find my past um, co.uk and here you have here over the years all the naughty criminals over the years that have been out there and you can actually I've just gone on and done it myself and in fact the irony is um, I've just checked you two out and it's really worrying quite frankly and I put your details in no I'm serious I put your I put your details into this and um, a possible relative of course uh, of yours Philip a possible I only say possible but an 84 year old man watchmaker called Charles Schofield and I think you kind of come from that background was sentenced to six months in Wormwood Scrubs in 1891 for stealing a bike worth £10. Where was he from? He Do we was know where from, he was from? Not sure yet, but we're yeah, still looking at that one. I think this is all a bit <laughs> shaky. Because, oh, it's London, I think. Well, London I'm not based. from London. I think it was... Well, no, sorry. Anyway, so, I'm anyway sorry. but Holly... No, you can't is, do me for that. Yeah, I'm not going to look into mine. That'd be really worrying. But Holly, I looked at yours, right? And I was a spinster. I hate that word, spinster. Age 23, Eliza, her name was Eliza Willoughby. Yes, and it is funny, nice here name. we have her hair. And oh. she was sentenced to six months hard labour for stealing a dress in 1896, a handkerchief and a purse. Previously, Eliza had stolen a shawl, a saucepan and absconded from the workhouse. She was a really, really naughty individual. And I've got to say, maybe it's just in the jeans, but there you go, Holly. <laughs> what are you suggesting? You said that 1892 vintage purse that you said that you had. <laughs> The one that's been passed through my yeah. family, you mean? That's the one. Fascinating. <laughs> Thank Absolutely you very fascinating. Much. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed. Well,